Hi everybody. So in my previous video, we have learned about three different steps in order to set up the RDL migration. So as we are here, I, you can see that we are into SQL Server Reporting Services Browser, wherein I have simply uploaded this lab 5D file over here. So we are going to migrate this file to Power BI. So for that, what we are going to do is we are going to open up the PowerShell. So this is my PowerShell over here and then I will be simply writing my script. So firstly, I will be changing the directory. The directory is nothing but the folder that we have created in, uh, as I mentioned in my previous uh, video. So this is the RDL migration folder under C drive. So as you can see, the directory has been changed. Next, what we are going to do is we are going to write another command line which is this. So, um, yeah, so under RDL migration folder, we have this .exe file. So with this, this will be triggered and then we have this report server uh, link. So this is nothing but the, uh, the browser link of the report server. Then this is the uh, actual file that we are going to migrate. You can uh, give the paginated report name or you can give the entire folder name by giving this slash. So currently I'm migrating the lab 5D file where to this particular destination. This is the name of my workspace, which is a premium workspace, which we created. In a, uh, created. So this is the, the name is automated migration. And then this is the client ID that we have generated. Now I will simply hit enter. This will ask me uh, for a login window. Then uh, based on that, it will show me the results. So as you can see, login is successful. The conversion has been started and uh, yeah, so as you can see, we have this success lab 5D, the file is successfully uploaded. So let me go to my Power BI workspace and in the automated migration, I have these files, but I don't see this lab 5D file. So now we have it, right? So this file is migrated. Now uh, I would also like to bring to your notice that the folder that we created rdl migration folder i have in uh, asked you to ignore these two folders uh, for a while so what will happen is once the file is uploaded successfully there will be two records that will be generated in an automated way one is the conversion log wherein it will have the entire records of all the powershell commands and processing and this is the output folder in the output folder you shall see two files one is the original and other is the converted file so the idea of an original file is that if you have a shared data source inside that it will uh, that that will be converted to the embedded data sources so right now we have just migrated Created the lab 5D file. So you shall see that one is the original copy over here and other is the converted copy here. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.